Good morning. Happy Easter. Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. So I'm behind my house mm -hmm. in a very special mm -hmm. place. And it's pretty early. I came up here, I thought, oh, if I had a trumpet, or if I knew how to, how to play, I would, I would play an Easter hymn on trumpet back here, but the neighbors, the neighbors might shoot me. They're, they're kind of close around here. But this is a, this is a quiet place. But I think I can sing a hymn here. Early in the morning, it says in Mark chapter 16, when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, Brought, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. That was what we would have called Saturday evening, right after the Sabbath. And then very early on the next day of the week, on Sunday, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? Stones. All these stones. And, and they they are not the only thing that keeps us from those we love are they the stone is there and the earth blocks them it keeps them in place and yet yet we have a promise here i notice this is tony marino i think i know his parents he passed away in 1985. There's so many, many here that I don't know, and yet there are some that I do. Some uh, whose graves I stood at with a family. Here's one. Many of us gathered here. Two thousand six in August, Park Frederick was our pastor. Jesus doesn't do funerals, he said. He does resurrections because he is the Lord of life. Somebody left a pudding stone here, but I know who. You know, these places are frustrating. Death is frustrating. It's not just, it doesn't just make us sad. It makes us frustrated because there are so many things that we wish that we could say. So many times we wish that they were there. I thought about some great victorious hymn to sing. But I think this is a better choice. Because uh, this is one of the one of the many hymns I've circled in my hymnal to consider for my funeral. I think it expresses better what we mean at Easter, not just wild rejoicing. It says this: "I am content, my Jesus ever lives, in whom my heart is pleased." He bowed his head when on the cross he died. God's wrath he has appeased. Since he in death could perish never, I also shall not die forever. I am content. I am content. I am content, at length I shall be free, awakened from the dead, arise in glorious evermore to be with you, my living head. The chains that hold my body sever, then shall my soul rejoice forever. I am content. I am content. It's okay. Death is not, 
not welcome. Death is not a good thing. But it's okay. We can be content in Christ because he's risen. He's risen indeed. And he, he will come. And all of these whom we've missed, all of those who were in Christ, they will rise. And the stone will be no obstacle. The earth they, under which they lie will be no obstacle, no barrier to them. They will be raised. And they will be whole. And we will be together. I am content. My Jesus liveth still. Amen. God bless your Easter day. God grant that every day is Easter for you. As you know, you can be content. Amen.